In this video, we're going to take a look at upgrading our Ionic projects to version 3.5x. We're also going to take a look at upgrading our app scripts to be 2.x and above, as this does contain a breaking change. The breaking change should be worth it though, because our incremental builds should be much faster now that we have the vendor files in the own file. So let's upgrade our project. What we need to do is start off by removing our node modules. And the first thing to do is, of course, upgrade our Ionic Angular to 3.52. So if we install the latest version of that, that should update our package.json. And the next thing to do is upgrade our app scripts. So I'm going to run npm install Ionic app scripts at version 2.02. .02. Of course, if we enter to add dash dash save and save exact the same way as we did with our Ionic dependency. Now, if we go ahead and run npm install, it should go ahead and install the appropriate packages inside of our package.json. If we now run Ionic serve, you may also find that you get this error saying that you cannot find Angular TSC wrapped. Don't worry about that. Simply npm install at Angular TSC dash wrapped. And see what to add dash dash save if you're not running npm5 and above. And now you should be able to try Ionic serve once again. Awesome, if we've got this far, we get webpack JSON P is not defined. Then what we need to do is head over to our index.html and simply add, and I'm gonna add a comment here to say that the vendor files is everything inside of node modules. We need to add a script here with the source of build slash vendor.js. Make sure that you add it above this main.js file here. And if you've done that, you should be able to find that you can navigate back to your application. And of course, it will be running the latest version of Ionic App Scripts and of course, the latest version of Ionic Angular. So there was a minor breaking change here. This is the only one, which is simply adding the build slash vendor.js inside of our index.html, but it'll be worth it in the end for the speed that we get back at build time. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a smooth upgrade process. Don't forget to check out Learn Ionic 3 from scratch. I do have some super bundles over at paulhalliday.io that contains the Ionic native course, Learn Ionic 3, and of course, app prototyping with experience design. So until next time, I'll see you very soon in that next video.